Let me uh, open up this cover sheet. Is I can print a PDF file and I can publish an iModel up to ProjectWise Share. So, for example, let's do the, the printing real quick. I'll go to print, print to PDF. And when this comes up, there's an option at the very bottom that if you're in a ProjectWise project, it gives you the ability to push this up to the ProjectWise Share. So, I'm going to go ahead and print this and just let it do its thing. I already have it, but I'm going to overwrite it. That's fine. We'll let this overwrite. Now, what it's doing is it's going to create my local version of it, which I just put in the out directory, not that it matters. But when it's done, what it's going to do is it's going to put it in the queue to push that up to the project-wise share. In fact, you can see in the status bar, it might be hard to read, but it says successfully uploaded the PDF to project-wise share. So it's all ready to go. Now, there is another addition to it, and I'm going to show you what that means in a second, is that I also can publish an iModel. In this case, a couple of different versions are available. An iModel, folks, is really going to be one file that contains everything I need. Uh, in this case, I'm going to create what's called a single package, and I'm going to tell it to create an iModel version. I have different versions that are available. I'm going to pick this middle one, 1 1.6, and tell it uh, to publish it to the project-wise share. Again, what it's going to do, and it already exists, folks, because I already have it up there, just in case we're going to do this live, but just in case it doesn't push this automatically up to, up to project-wise share quick enough, because I'm going to open it up in just a second. Uh, we kind of have, uh, have it up there already, but I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it. It's going to create that IDGN file, that iModel, it creates it local, and it then su submits it for uploading. Now, this will take just a moment, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is go out to my connection center. If you are a select subscriber uh, and, you know, you, you use connection client, one of the things that you're able to do, and it came up on the other screen, is use a connected project, a project-wise project. And you might say, well, geez, I don't want to have to pay for, for all this. This is part of your select agreement. So I have the ability to share files that go along with this. This project, which is tied to my local project right here. In fact, I'm going to go to close just so you can see it. When I went into that, I didn't really point it out. But when I opened up that work set, I have a local work set right here, all this information. But I also have it tied to a project-wise project as well. And then this is looking up at the project-wise uh, portal, the project portal that goes along with it. And you'll see I got a couple versions of it. But in fact, if we take a look at, oh, there's the 16th. There's the one that we that uh, uh, we just did right here that's listed. And I could select it and I could download it, not just me, but any member of the team. I also could do something like, hey, you know, Tom and I are working on a project along with John, and I say, guys, I completed the cover sheet. Go take a look at it and just make sure it looks good. They, in turn, can come in and say, oh, there it is. There's the one that Sean uploaded. I can pick this and say, well, all right, I want to open it. They could open it, take a look at it, kind of review it, make sure it looks good. And if you say, I uh, need to change the scale on this image here, there are markup tools. Now I'm just going to draw a big giant ugly circle around it, but they can mark that up online and save those red lines automatically back to Project Y Share. So they can mark it up and it's all there for me. Something you're you're paying for it because it's part of Select, but it's uh, you know, you you don't have anything extra to come up with. It's all part of it. Uh, you know, just text and other things. But that is on ProjectWise Share, MicroStation's ability to write those couple of different files uh, to it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.